Local 7 and 103.7 WTIB present Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. News, sports, and community information and everything that's going on around town. Now, with Talk of the Town, here's your host, Henry Hinton. Okay, welcome in everybody. We are live in Washington, North Carolina. It is a Washington Summer Festival weekend and we are live on the waterfront in Washington. Welcome to our uh, On the Waterfront uh, Washington Summer Festival kickoff show. Catherine Glover is here. We're going to talk to Catherine about the Washington Summer Festival this weekend. I want to say thanks to all of our sponsors that are down here on the banner in front of us. Uh, our buddy Potash Corporora, uh, Ray McKeithen is here. We had Ray on earlier. Warehouse Tire, Sloan Insurance Agency, Beaufort County Community College, U.S. Home Exteriors, On the Waterfront Restaurant, where Dustin has us set up here this morning, Washington Harbor District Alliance, and D&H Equipment Company. And Beth Bird's here. We're going to talk to her and talk to the mayor. We've got some other folks we're going to get on. We've had a great time in Washington. The breeze is awesome coming off the river here. We are right here on the waterfront, and Catherine Glover, who is the executive director of the Washington Beaufort County Chamber of Commerce, is here co-hosting with me this hour. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Henry. And it's a big weekend in Washington. This is the biggest week of the year in Washington. It is, and it Summer feels Festival. good. Yeah. You guys ready? We're ready. All right. Talked about it some last hour, but let's go through the schedule. For first of all, for people who've never been to the Summer Festival, uh, tell us uh, what the Summer Festival is all about. Well, I'm going to move this over a little bit so people can see your face on television. Okay. Like it's a street festival. Um, we have lots of rides, vendors, things like that, as well as bands and um, wonderful things that are happening. Something for everybody in the family. All a lot ages. of rides for the kids mm -hmm. and uh, a <clears throat> lot of entertainment in the evenings for the Free adults. Free entertainment. Great food on the streets. Great food, great craft vendors. And one of the largest uh, one of the largest festivals in the state of North Carolina. It is one of the largest festivals right on the waterfront, and it's beautiful. Ray McKeith and his lady. Ray, you can walk. Good to see you. Thank, thanks to Potash Corporora. Thank you, Ray. Had Ray on last hour. And uh, Robin, Ray's uh, better half, is one of your uh, staff people in the chamber, and she's a big part of this as well. She uh, She's the main part. She's out there working <laughs> the <main> hard. <laughs> she's the, she's the it. I know what kind of effort you and uh, Robin make on this thing. This is a big, big deal for, uh, for Washington and eastern North Carolina. All right, let's talk about uh, the entertainment. Now, we're going to get uh, Craig Willard on the phone here in a few minutes, but it's become a tradition for uh, Washington's favorite son, the uh, I think one of the best entertainers, in North Carolina. I've known him for years. Craig Woolard is going to be back, and tonight he's back with his old band, The Embers. He is. And, you know, last year he didn't get to play because of the bad weather that came yeah. in Friday night and it washed everything out. So it's been a year since he's been back, and so we are very excited to have him with The Embers tonight at 7 o'clock in Festival Park. And they performed somewhere last night, but he's uh, home in Raleigh this morning, and we're going to call and wake him up here in a minute. That's right. And we talk to him on the radio. So if all you Craig Willard fans, uh, stand by. We're going to talk to Craig on the telephone here coming up in just a few minutes. All right. Uh, now, uh, uh, give us the schedule. Things start uh, this afternoon, Friday afternoon. What time? And they give do. us the weekend schedule. They start today at 5 o'clock. Um, everything opens. All the vendors will be open as well as the rides and all of that. And we've got Craig Wooler with the Embers at 7 o'clock, 7 to 9, and then 9 o'clock, free fireworks show over the water, which is always something fun for the whole family. Tomorrow we start with um, at 10, 10 in the morning. Everything opens up with the festival, and Doc Dog's competition will actually start tomorrow, which is the, obviously what you've seen on ESPN when they jump. Have you had those before? We did. We had them last year. That's a and big it's a deal. Big hit. People love that. Now these are the the actual performing dogs mm -hmm. that jump into the water and do all sorts. They of do. Crazy they stuff. jump as far as they can, and it's based on a competition. And what we love is that a lot of local people have trained their dogs to come out and try for the first time. Is that and right? And that's fun. Um, the fun to see as well. So that will go Saturday and Sunday, and the kids can walk straight up to the tank and be right at the tank while the dog jumps. And so awesome. it, it's a big hit. They used to be in the winter, but now it, it's better now. Now there's certain times that you're going to have the dog dog shows. Uh, they, they pretty much are on every hour, um, all through Saturday and most of Sunday. Their competition ends on Sunday. That's the only thing that will be Sunday this year. So it is an actual competition. Oh, yes. And they competition build up to the finals. Build up to the final. So that's one of the things that will actually, the, most everything goes on uh, through Saturday, but you'll actually have some of the things going on Sunday. We will. And people come from all over the United States for that competition because they're trying to get points to make it to larger competition. So it's an important one. All right. Now, if and people should, uh, should not eat before they get here. No, tons uh, of good. Food. Talk Lots about of, the food. 
Well, we have tons of, of obviously good food, but what we have a lot of is our local nonprofits that are trying to do fundraisers as part of the summer festival. And so what we have is um, a lot of your local churches, a lot of your local nonprofits that do so many good things in our community. They're using the summer festival as a way to raise money and do fundraisers. So ta anything that you could ever imagine eating, you will be able to find. We're going to talk to Beth Bird from the Washington Harbor District Alliance in a minute. We're just talking to her and the mayor the chamber you know every uh, what i love about washington is a real sense of community here and you guys really pull together here to make these things happen we do we all work together we all know that that obviously when one benefits we all benefit and it always makes it better for everyone so we work pretty hard all right so uh today five o'clock five o'clock kicks off friday at five o'clock goes to whenever the embers start playing tonight and the fireworks start after yeah. the fireworks it's over and uh and so the fireworks start about nine about nine o'clock all right and then tomorrow the hours again 10 o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night all right beth come on over here let's talk to beth bird while she's here as well we got some other folks we're going to talk to in a minute but we got beth bird here let me pull her in here uh and the sunday schedule while we're getting Beth set up just dock dogs competition they'll be doing their final round so it'll be great just to come out and watch the dogs jump on sunday all right very good uh the uh, again one of the groups that's very involved always in doing great things uh, down here on the waterfront in washington is the group that's uh, called the washington harbor district alliance and beth bird is uh the uh, the catalyst on this i know you have a lot of help beth but uh, it's a big weekend, and you guys do a great job with this. Tell folks what the Washington Harbor District Alliance is. Well, we're the Main Street organization for Little Washington. We um, do promotion. We do uh, marketing. We do design work. We try to keep the streets clean. We uh, do everything that we can to support our little downtown. And uh, what kind of role will you be taking this weekend? <laughs> I'll be coming down on my bicycle and checking it out. <laughs> 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 but she's honest. I've, I've offered my support, but it hasn't been taken up yet. <laughs> I'll, bet, I'll bet you they'll find something for you to do. Now, uh, now you, you guys have done a lot of other things. We were just talking about Festival Park with the mayor. That's right. Uh, you've got this great new bandstand here, and you've had mm -hmm. some... Uh, you know, I know you had the, was it the Marine Corps band that was just here? Yeah, the 82nd yeah. Airborne Marine. You had the symphony the, here. The I mean, symphony we've had. You do a lot of great stuff in that new We just had stand. Backyard Groove, which is a popular band in this area. Yeah. Um, and on 4th of July, we'll have Jupiter Jones. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's right. So come on down for the 4th of July. We'll be um, having a good time. And um, soon we'll be having the picking on the Pamlico, August 15th, which, which is an all-you-can-eat um, crab and shrimp feast, and that's the Ginger Thompson Band will be on the stage. Right, very good. So very we try good. to utilize that as much as possible. And then this fall, Emily Minor will be here oh, doing great. a country yeah. show for us. Another um, ECU alum that's right. who's become famous over the years. So. Yeah, we're, we try to book that band as much as we can, that and, band and stage. And 4th of July is, a, is Jupiter Jones? That's right. You know, that's our own Mark Paschal. That's right. Who does Mark. the Mark Paschal show on our sports station, 94.3, every uh -huh. afternoon. Uh, Mark uh, Mark has a has a double life. He lives a double life. <laughs> he's, a, he's a sports uh, talk show host in the afternoon and a great musician at night. And Mark, uh, Mark of course, is, uh, I think he's the lead guy for, for Jupiter mm -hmm. Jones. And uh, But that's a great band. Yeah. Um, People will love that. Yep. All right. And uh, then, of course, every third Friday, we don't use the band stage, but we have Music in the Streets that's on Market Street, Main and Market. And those are four local bands that come out and perform for the crowds, and it's a great time. Sometimes we have antique cars. We have nonprofits out there. It's We're always trying to do something to attract people to Washington. Well, you guys are doing a great job, and we appreciate all the effort, and we look forward to seeing you down here this weekend. Thanks for all that you do. Thank you so All much. Right. Uh, Kath, uh, we're going to take a quick break. we got more friends out here we're going to talk to. And when we come back, we'll see if we, we, see if we can wake Craig Willard up. You that would be that? wonderful. Uh, Craig Willard of the Embers. Of course, Craig, for many, many years, has been a performer. He was, uh, he was with the Embers. He left the Embers and started his own band, the Craig Willard Band. And uh, just recently, I believe, he's rejoined the Embers. He has. Which, which is uh, kind of a neat thing. And by the way, uh, we're, I, I can't, uh, maybe starting this week, Michael, I'm still working with uh, uh, Skip Creighton down in Newburn, who has produced an hour-long documentary on the Embers. Craig's a part of that. We'll talk to him about that as well. And we're going to show that on Cable 7 starting this coming week. Once we've got it, we'll announce the dates and uh, we'll be ready to go with that. So, uh, Beth Bird, thank cool. you very much. Let me grab my... Uh, 
uh -huh. so I know what I'm doing here. I want to okay. mention a couple of things, a couple of housekeeping things before we go to break. Yesterday, we had our big golf sale uh, for Taberna in, in, uh, in Newburn, and I believe I was told there are about a dozen passes left. Normally, these things sell out. It's the first time we've actually done a course in Newburn. Normally, these things sell out uh, in, within, within an hour or so. We did have some left over for Taberna. So starting this morning uh, and during business hours at 9 o'clock, you can call and still get some half-price uh, passes for Taberna in Newburn. If you're going to be, be playing golf uh, down in that area, you're going to be heading to the coast this weekend. Uh, the number to call during business hours after starting at 9 o'clock this morning, 355-1037. You get half-price golf at Taberna, including uh, cart fee, which is uh, uh, normally $50. You get it for $25. As long as they last this morning, I imagine they'll sell out today. But uh, do call this morning, 355-1037. Now, here is, uh, we, we wanted to wait until today to make this announcement. We have another half-price golf deal coming up this coming Thursday, which I believe will be, what's today's day? Today's the 12th. So today's what the 12th. Would, so it would be the 18th, right? Thursday's the Sounds 18th? Good. Next Thursday. <laughs> Come on, Catherine, oh, wake up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> th thir next Thursday morning, uh, the 18th, uh, we're announcing for the first time this morning another private club, never before available to uh, the general public at half price. And this time it is just in time for Father's Day, Greenville Country Club. Oh, we're going to have uh, 100 passes to sell to Greenville Country Club next Thursday morning at nine o'clock and again it's the same telephone number that you'll call today for Taberna 355-1037 uh, again rounds of golf uh, including cart fees normally fifty dollars at Greenville Country Club you'll be able to buy them for twenty five dollars next Thursday morning when we open up the switchboard for our half price golf sale for uh, uh, Greenville Country Club which is back open and I'm telling you, I, I played uh, I played it a bunch in the last week because I played in two tournaments there since uh, last Saturday, and it is in absolute pristine, perfect condition. The greens are rolling perfectly, the fairways are more beautiful than I've ever seen. And of course, uh, Mark Hayes and the crowd, a new ownership, new management at Greenville Country Club. I was told yesterday we're up to something like 290 members already. The club just reopened March 25th, so God bless Mark Hayes and the great job that. He and uh, and Cindy Wooten and and uh, Brady and uh, Andrea Penner have done, and so uh, Greenville Country Club's back open. It's doing great, and now you can uh, call in next Thursday morning and get half price golf at Greenville Country Club. We'll be promoting that all of next week. All right, 24 after eight, a quick commercial break. More live in Washington. We're going to try to wake up Craig Willard on the telephone. When we come back. Stay with us. I just got a text from my wife, Catherine. You'll like this. Uh, we're bringing our grandchildren to ride the rides tonight. So oh, yay. <laughs> Exciting. We'll see you. We'll be here. We're back at the, in Washington at On the Waterfront Restaurant, uh, and we got the mayor of Washington, Mac Hodges, Catherine Glover from the Chamber of Commerce, and we're going to talk some more about the Washington Summer Festival. Uh, our Washington Summer Festival kickoff show brought to you by Potash Corporora the um, uh, Washington Harbor District Alliance. We just had Beth on. Warehouse Tire, Sloan Insurance Agency, Beaufort County Community College. Getting ready to talk to some of the folks from uh, Beaufort County Community College. Uh, U.S. Home Exteriors. Getting ready to talk to Rob from U.S. Home. And, uh, and also D&H Equipment. So there you go. We've got uh, a lot going on here this morning. And uh, Catherine, it's a big weekend for you, so you're getting excited. Now, we just called Craig Willard and Craig, was, she, Debbie, his wife, was waking him up. That's right, so waking gonna, him up. So we're going to wait about 10 minutes and call him back. Perfect. So Craig Willard agreed. Uh, he's going to be a little groggy, but he's going to be on with us. <laughs> and uh, Mayor uh, Mac Hodges is here. You were just telling yeah. you were just telling a story about listening to Craig uh, Willard when he was uh, living here in Washington. He, 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 actually, when, when I was in school, I was maybe one or two grades ahead of Craig. I can't remember exactly. But they used to play in a garage over that Acock Street that had a little local band. They had Ed Mann that played about 30 years with the Catalinas was in his band. And, and anyway, they, they were over there playing rock and roll. So I, I've got fond memories of, uh, it was a vacant lot out in front. So you just parked your car and sat, hung out on the car and listened to 
that little band he had over there. And they played in Agata de Vila. Yeah, that was remember to play. I'm, I'm he he won't that. he won't ever I'm confess up he played the that. The mayor wants to hear you play in Agata de Vila tonight. <laughs> I don't think the Embers know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Special request. <laughs> we uh, we talked to you, uh, you last hour, Mayor Hodges, and a lot of great things going on in Washington. But um, we, we didn't mention, uh, you, you started something years ago here in Washington. I think it's really cool where you have uh, what you call NFL Day, where you bring oh, back all the local uh, NFL players. And there's a bunch of players that have played or are still playing in the NFL, and that's coming up. It is next Friday, and actually we just had a, you know, it dawned on us one time maybe six, seven years ago with the Beaufort County Pirate Club that – we had two NFL players living in Beaufort County, which is kind of unusual. So we got up with uh, CJ and Terrence Copper and had one. But anyway, this project this project's done mostly by the police and fire department, and they run a camp. Uh, but Friday night, it's an all week process. Even Monday night, if you go to Zaxby's, the first hundred kids eat free, and Pizza Inn is in. I can't remember the exact lineup. Pizza Inn, East Coast Wings, but the, the players are going to be at all three of those uh so who, who you, got, you got terrence copper cj C. wilson, wilson um vontae leach um, gonna be here. yeah that's his old roommate and actually we have um they run a football camp on saturday uh the football camps from like 8 30 to 12 and then they uh they have lunch and then they have a basketball camp and we got two uh players from that played in europe one of them played for 18 years over there he would and um ralph biggs and and so they're gonna have a basketball camp. It's all out at Washington High School. And Friday afternoon, we have an autograph session out here in Festival Park. And um, we'll probably have a fire. Last year, we had a fire truck and a bounce house. Most of the stuff done with the uh, police uh, bring some of their stuff out. And they brought had some bouncy houses and a lot of the stuff for the kids from four to six. All right, now what's and the date of that again? Next Friday, the 19th. Next Friday, the 19th, okay. Uh, that, that's that Saturday, the 20th is the camp. And you got to leave. You can't hang around and talk to Craig Willard and ask him if he's going to play Anagata DeVita. I figured you could handle that for me. You could go ahead and get <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mayor, good Tell to him see to you. practice. He's just gotta, <laughs> get on out of the bed and let's get to it. That. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Good okay. to see you. Let me get Don Stefano mm -hmm. in here. USA. We, again, our uh, live on the waterfront show this morning being brought to you by a lot of local uh, businesses. And uh, Don Stefano is uh, with U.S. Home Exteriors. We got to know Don through the Home and Garden Show, and uh, you're doing business right here in Washington. How you doing, bud? Yes, I'm good. It's good to see good you, Good to Henry. see you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks. Thank for, good to be in your home here, your hometown. Yeah, right across the street. Did is you that see? where you guys are located? Just You can see it from the deck. So, uh, again, uh, you're, you're one of the sponsors for this morning's show. You're one of our great sponsors on the radio station. Thank for, you. Uh, year round and uh, the home show. Tell us about U.S. Home Exteriors. What do you guys do? Oh, we are, uh, I like to call us a boutique home improvement company. We do six things really, really well, is what we do, Henry. So we do in, uh, insulation, which everyone wants to save money on the utility bills, right? Yep. Uh, we are doing a bunch of windows because everyone hated the winter, really. It was so cold and they want to get rid of the drafts and save some money that way. Gutters, gutter covers, so you don't have to clean them out. Uh, insulation and trim work, and doors. With and us. Now, yeah. do you travel all over Eastern North Carolina? Pretty much, Jacksonville to uh, Elizabeth City, Zebulon. I was there two nights ago and did some uh, sliding doors right to Beaufort. So you guys have done some work for friends of mine. They highly recommend you. You are mm -hmm. you do great work. U.S. Home Exteriors, uh, and you know. If you're right across the street, uh, you were pretty smart to locate where you have this view. Oh, you like my boat? Is that your boat? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, definitely. I don't know whose boat that is, but that's a nice boat sitting yeah. right there. We got some nice boats down here on the water. Yeah. Uh, Don, how do people get up with you? Um, the easiest way, you, you can walk into the office right here at 134 South Market Street. Yep. Um, we're going to be at your home festival. We do a bunch of local shows all the time. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on my phone number, to well, be honest with people, you. Just Google U.S. Home. <laughs> U.S. Home Exteriors. US yes, home we have a exteriors. website. Everybody Googles now anyway. So yeah. Good to see you, Don. <laughs> Thank you. Don Thanks a lot. Thank oh, you, we're going to have our ribbon cutting right here on next Friday. Next Friday. <laughs> yes, the right, 19th. Right. You're going to have uh, beverages? Food uh, beverages? Rachel's. We're going to get right. stuff All right, from Rachel's. Good. All right, very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, – you want to, You guys want to come on? How many breaks we got left, Michael? We need to get a break in? I'll tell you, we'll get a break in. We'll come back. we got some more folks to talk to. We'll try to get Craig again if he's awake, Craig Willard, 
So stay with us. More talk of the town. Catherine Glover's here with us. We're live on the waterfront here on the Washington waterfront uh, getting ready to kick off the Washington Summer Festival today at 5 o'clock. So make your plans for the weekend. The weather looks great. We'll be back with more here from Washington right after this. Talk of the town on location this morning at On the Waterfront Restaurant on the beautiful waterfront here on the Pamlico River. It is absolutely a gorgeous setting. I don't want to leave. In fact, I may be back tonight for the Summerfest. I think I'm going to be back with my grandkids tonight. Going to be a great uh, weekend here in Washington. Thanks to our Washington sponsors, Dustin from uh, On the Waterfront, who got up early and opened. They're not normally open here at On the Waterfront for breakfast, but what a great place for lunch and dinner. Come on out to On the Waterfront. Also, Ray McKeithen was here earlier from Potash Corporora, Warehouse Tire, Sloan Insurance uh, Agency, uh, U.S. Home Exteriors. We just had Don on. Uh, the Washington Harbor District Alliance, DNH Equipment, and Beaufort, Commu Beaufort County Community College. And now I've got a couple of friends from Beaufort County Community College here. Stacy Gerard is here and Lentz Stowe. Thank you guys for sponsoring the show today. And I wanted to get you on to talk about some of the things going on because uh, it, Beaufort Community College, one of the best community colleges in the state, Stacy. And you guys have a lot going on with continuing ed. You do a lot for folks in the community in addition to your full-time students. Yes, we do. Um, within the Division of Continuing Education, we have several programs that benefit our community. Um, we have our College and Career Readiness Program that was formerly known as Basic Skills. The intent of that program and the mission is to raise the education level of adults. Um, we offer the high school equivalency. We offer English as a second language classes. We also offer occupational extension classes. Those are really exciting. Um, we do continuing education for fire, for EMS, for law enforcement. And then we also offer short-term training classes that lead to a certification. We have nurse aid one and two, medication aid, forklift training, Microsoft Office specialist classes, and those are just to name a few. Uh, that's a lot, and, and I know <laughs> probably like most of the community colleges, you work with local industry. You had Ray McKeithen in here this morning, had Jim mm -hmm. Chestnut from National Spending. You probably coordinate with them on what their needs are in terms of uh, developing the workforce uh, locally, right? We do. We have a workforce initiatives program, and currently right now we are running classes for Potash. And so whenever they have a need for training for their employees, then they call us up and we find out what, what, what they need, we find instructors, and then we perform the training for industry. I think one of the best things that's, that community colleges have done in recent years is develop these small business centers. We've, uh, there, there are some great ones across Eastern North Carolina and a great one here in, in uh, Washington at, at Beaufort County Community College. Lentz Stowe is the director of the Small Business Center. And uh, Lance, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for coming out early this morning. Tell us what's going on with uh, your programs in the Small Business Center out of Beaufort County Community College. Well, I appreciate it, Henry. Thanks for the opportunity to be here. Um, we, uh, we also do a lot of economic development, workforce development, and you know, the Small Business Center. We're trying to help folks possibly create a job, okay? Create their own job, possibly. or. If you're already in business, we've got some resources for you as well. Um, we do one-on-one -on -one counseling that's free and confidential. We uh, have anywhere from 45 to 60 workshops every year that are attended by 400 plus people. And um, we're a rural community college, but when you hear those numbers, you know, 70, 70 to 80 clients a year, you can tell that we, we have a, a pretty good reach um, in terms of, of reaching that demographic. And you mentioned uh, the, the other employers as well. Um, one of the programs that we manage uh, in our area, which we kind of have an umbrella over the Small Business Center and our customized training program, and both of those programs are statewide programs. Right. The customized training program, uh, we a lot of times have um, four or five projects in play that are very targeted, very specific mm -hmm. for local industries and their um, uh, current workforce and, and their incumbent workers. And if they're adding on or, or let's say even a new industry comes in. So we're, we're poised to do a lot for folks uh, in, in that employment arena. 
You know, it's a great resource that a lot of people don't realize it uh, exists, Lance. It, the, if somebody wants to start a business, you talked about one-on-one counseling. Mm-hmm. I mean, let's say that I'm a, a local entrepreneur and I've got an idea for a business mm-hmm. or I'm buying a business, and uh, I really need some help in kind of my business plan yes. or, or setting up my accounting services or just kind of my sales training, all that stuff. You guys can help with that. Absolutely, we do. Yeah. Um, and, and the cool thing, Henry, that uh, – most of the resources we have are free and i mean we match folks up with where they are in the process if you're pre-venture or if you've been in business 10 years you you could possibly have resources that might make a difference for you all of the uh small business center directors one of the things that's really cool statewide is we go to professional development so we learn new things we're certified Mm -hmm. within the program as well so uh we're, we're a, a little bit of an out, outreach aspect of, of each of the community colleges mm-hmm. and Beaufort County Community College is uh, supportive of what we do uh, in, in terms of the local small business center and, and our customized training program as well. So, You do a great job. We had Jim Chestnut on this morning. Jim's, of course, on your board of trustees out yes, there. Yes, he is. And uh, Jim's a great guy and does a, a lot for uh, the community. But you guys do too, uh, and we appreciate all the effort that goes into uh, workforce development and educating folks uh, in Washington at Beaufort County Community College. Thanks for what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good to see you. Stacy Gerard and Lentz Stowe from uh, Beaufort County Community College. All right, we're going to take a break and come back. When we come back, we'll try to get Craig Willard on the telephone. Craig is uh, going to be here in town performing tonight with the embers and uh, that's exciting for the local folks to have their favorite son come back so stay with us and we'll continue with more talk of the town live in washington this morning all right welcome back it's 848 live on uh, talk of the town this morning on 103.7 and 94.1 Catherine glover from the washington chambers here with me we're live on the washington waterfront this morning and this place will be rocking later today. Washington Summer Festival begins at 5 o'clock today, Catherine. It does. And uh, I can tell you're excited. You're getting We're all excited. Juiced up. We're ready. And, of course, uh, every year one of the great things about this is the live entertainment at night. And uh, we, we, uh, we're very excited that uh, Craig Willard is going to be back. Craig grew up in Washington. He's one of the favorite sons of this community. And he's back with the Embers. And we just called and woke him up at his house in uh, Cary. And he's on the phone with us. Craig, good morning. Henry, what's up, man? How you doing, man? It's nice talking to you again. You and you're back with the Embers. How about that? Yeah, this is uh, just a little over a year. I've been back with the Embers. I spent 27 years there. Had my own band for 10, and um, we got back together a little over a year ago. And it's it's like being home. And tonight I'm going to be home. What's it like to come back and play uh, for the folks that know you here in Washington? Do you, do you enjoy doing that? It's my favorite of the year you know I, I get to come home i get to see all the people that i grew up with i get to walk down main street i get to look at that gorgeous river and uh and maybe i'll have a bill's hot dog or two <laughs> uh I've, i've said i've been saying this all morning while promoting you i know most folks have seen you perform over the years but uh i remember the old days of the embers and uh, jackie gore of course was the original lead singer and then uh, when Jackie left the band, you became the lead singer, and you took it up a notch because I've always said that you are one of the best live performers that I've ever seen because you play instruments, you have a great voice, you you, you know, you do it all, and, uh, you know, you've just over the years uh, been, been entertaining folks across uh, the southeastern part of the country, and uh, it all started right here in Little Washington. Absolutely. It started here, um, started in Washington. I, I remember playing the Turnage Theater on Saturday mornings before the kids' show came on and with a, with a band. And, you know, man, it's just the, the place is full of memories. It's, I, I think that Washington is one of the, the, at least the East Coast's best-kept secrets, and I think the secret's starting to get out a little bit now. So that's a good thing. By the way, the mayor, Mac Hodges, was in here a while ago. He said he was going to request Enagata DeVita tonight. He said that he used to play that in a garage band here in Washington. You know, I can't believe he remembers that. <laughs> uh, that's right, the drummer for the Swinging Medallions who did Double Shot of My Baby's Love married a girl from Washington and settled in Washington for about a year and a half. I didn't know that. 
Yep, I was a junior in high school, and we found out he was here, and we enticed him to uh, to my parents' house on Main Street, and we would have jam sessions. And Anagata DeVito was a biggie, and, uh, <laughs> and Mac was one of the guys who would come and come over and just hang out and listen. That's unbelievable. Now that's something we didn't know. The drummer for the Swingin' Medallions lived in Washington, North Carolina. <laughs> Yep, and he managed Washington Tire Company, which I guess is still there on, on 3rd Street. Well, Warehouse Tires is our uh, sponsor, but thank you for mentioning that, Craig. I just... I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, tell us... He would have managed Warehouse Tires if he... <laughs> Hey, uh, tell us about the show. Uh, it, or, you know, I haven't seen you since you've been back with the Embers. Uh, and, of course, I, you know, I used to love your, uh, your floor show with the Embers. Uh, you guys doing some of the same stuff. Tell us what to expect tonight. Well, you can expect the Beach Music hits that the Embers recorded and released uh, that you grew up with. If you used to go to Atlantic Beach to the Embers Club, you'll feel much like you're back there. And you'll hear that. And as well, you'll hear songs by Journey and uh, Bruno Mars, Tayo Cruz, you know, because we got we to gotta rope in the, the younger crowd, too. The thing that kills me is when we do the journey and the black eyed D stuff, the uh, the people my age are throwing down as hard as the kids. <laughs> so it's great. <laughs> exactly, those are great, those are great bands, and uh, and you know, Craig, uh, you know the the Embers kind of became famous for beach music, but uh, if people have never watched you perform, you you do all genres of music and you do it well, my friend. Absolutely, man. I when I grew up on the radio station that I listen to, which is what I'm talking to you on right now. Those you guys played everything from uh, one minute there would be a song from the Beatles and it would be followed by Double Shot My Baby's Love. That would be followed by a Frank Sinatra song, which would be followed by Eddie Floyd song. So I grew up listening to it all. I love it all. Hey, you know, there's a, uh, I just found this out from uh, Skip Creighton, who's a mutual friend of ours down in New Bern. That, Love yeah, they they are. He's produced an hour long documentary on the Embers, and I know you're a big part of that. And guess what? We're going to be playing that on our cable TV channel on Cable Seven here in Washington and Greenville and Williamston uh, this coming week. And uh, I know that uh, Skip has uh, has got that documentary for sale. But uh, that's a. I'm really looking forward to that. I know you and Jackie Gore and all the uh, guys from the Embers over the years are going to be a part of that. And so that's coming up this coming week, and we'll be announcing when that's going to air. That's great. And if you will, let me know tonight when I get there, have someone tell me, and I'll Facebook my pages and, and put the word out there for you. I'll, I'll get Skip to – I'll make sure that uh, Skip gets me the uh, DVD today. And, uh, Michael, let's pick some times. We're going to air it next week so Craig can announce it tonight. That's great. All right, Craig, Craig Willard, you were great to get up. I know you perform. Where'd you perform last night? I know you got to bed about three o'clock. Mount Airy, North Carolina, home of Andy Griffith. Yeah. <laughs> did uh, Did you have a big crowd out there last night? Huge crowd, man. Up until the very last song, in which the sky opened up and Noah's flood came down. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't let that happen tonight. Yeah, we're not going to let that happen no. here tonight. Catherine says she's she's taking care of that. <laughs> All right. Uh, she got she got rain insurance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The great Craig Willard. Craig, I've enjoyed you over the years. I love the Embers. I love listening to you perform, man, and I'm excited about you being here in Washington tonight. You guys are going to be on stage, what, Catherine, about 7? Mm-hmm. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock tonight right here on the waterfront in Washington. Craig, thank you, man. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Catherine. See you guys tonight. Talk to you later. Craig Willard and uh, the Embers tonight. That's exciting, isn't it? That's, that's fun to talk. I don't think I've ever had Craig on the show before. I've known him forever, but yeah, but it's uh, kind of cool to have him on the show. And uh, and I'm serious. If you've never seen Craig perform, uh, he can get it done. He can, and it's for everybody, all ages. Like he said, yeah. he plays all different kinds of music. It's wonderful. Now, did you know you you're you're younger than Craig? Did I you, am. Did you know him growing up? I did not. Yeah, my I'm wife, of course, was younger mm-hmm. than him, also, but. Craig, uh, she knew Craig growing up here in Washington and uh, know a lot of folks like the mayor and other folks got to know him uh, quite well. All right, um, a few minutes left uh, in the show. Uh, Catherine Glover from uh, the Washington Chamber of Commerce. 
Let's reiterate the high points for folks for the Washington Summer Festival. It kicks off today at 5. Run through the schedule for us again, Catherine. 5 o'clock kickoff, 7 o'clock, the Embers with Craig Willard will be here, and 9 o'clock will be the fireworks show. Um, tomorrow we start at 10 in the morning. We have Doc Dogs competition, which is obviously the jo- dogs that jump for, for the length. Um, rides all day. Little Washington Sailing School will let kids go out on the water. And we tomorrow night we actually have Chaos, which is a, a young band from here from 530 to 630. And then tomorrow night, Mikhail Buck Band from 7 to 9. All right, so live entertainment in the evenings, uh, Both uh, nights. Saturday and uh, Friday night. And, of course, the Craig Willard and the Embers tonight uh, on stage here in Washington. Uh, i got to say some thank yous to, to some folks for helping us this morning. First of all, thanks to our marquee sponsor, uh, Potash Corp. Aurora. I know you want to thank them also. They're they your, are wonderful. They're your uh, main sponsor this weekend as well. you got a lot of sponsors. Anybody else we you do. want to plug? I didn't ask you that earlier. Potash Corp. Aurora is our major sponsor, um, so they've done a lot. But we've got a lot of sponsors this weekend that make this event possible. Yeah, it's a great community event right here in eastern North Carolina on the waterfront in Washington. Thanks to uh, our friends at Warehouse Tire who got another plug. Thanks to Craig, uh, Craig's <laughs> comment. <laughs> Sloan Insurance <laughs> Agency. I didn't sleep the Sloan boys this morning, but they sponsored today. Beaufort County Community College, uh, U.S. Home Exteriors, uh, Don DeStefano, who's here with us. Uh, the uh, Washington Harbor District Alliance uh, had Beth in here. D&H Equipment Company. Get over here real fast. And Dustin, before we say goodbye, let me see, get Dustin back on. He was on earlier this morning. We hadn't had him on TV. On the Waterfront Restaurant, Dustin yes, is here. Dustin, thank you for getting up early and coming, setting up, and hey, getting us ready here. I was so glad to have you guys down. Yeah. You know, this is great. I can't wait for this weekend. And, uh, again, if you've never eaten it on the waterfront, it's right on the waterfront. The food is great. The uh, the, the, the patio is great. All the atmosphere is great. And uh, and you're saying you you should probably consider a reservation, but consider, if you don't have one, yep. come on by anyway. Absolutely. Come on by and see us. We'll be open um, all weekend. So. We'll see you guys. Thank you for the coffee yeah. and the fruit and a uh, little uh, continental breakfast for us this morning. Yeah. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. All right. I need to say uh, also a, a couple of things. I'm going to be gone Monday and Tuesday. The North Carolina Association of Broadcasters State Convention uh, starts on Sunday, so I'll be over at Grandover Resort in Greensboro uh, Monday and Tuesday. We'll be back Wednesday, but I do want to remind people that we do have another golf sale next Thursday, Greenville Country Club. Goes on sale at 9 a.m. next Thursday morning. Half price golf at Greenville Country Club. So remember that because Father's Day is coming up and getting half price golf at uh, Greenville Country Club next Thursday morning at 9 o'clock. And we do have a few left, maybe a dozen or so uh, coupons left for Taberna in Newburn. If people want to call this morning at 9, in fact, you can probably start calling right now. There's somebody there that can take your call. Uh, it certainly will be at 9 o'clock in about a minute or two here at 355-1037, 355-1037. You can buy half-price rounds, $25 per round, including cart. It's a great deal for Taberna. Uh, and that's uh, we have a few of those to sell this morning that were left over from yesterday. And then again, next Thursday, which I believe is the 18th, we'll do the Greenville Country Club half-price sale. Uh, two private courses that you don't normally get to play unless you're a member or with a guest. You can buy them for half price, a special deal for our listeners. Catherine Glover, thank you, dear. Thank you, Henry. Good luck, and thank thanks you. to the Washington Beaufort County Chamber of Commerce for all that you do for the community here. You do a great job, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a great summer festival. We hope so. We're yeah. looking forward to it. Yeah. Come on down this weekend, folks, to Washington. Thanks to Michael and Ashton and Coach Carr for setting us up. See you Monday.